there used to be a few hundred thousand human beings, then we went up to millions and tens of millions, now we're heading into the billions. And we all need to be fed. And this has happened over the increase in human population, it's happened over a, a relatively slow p time period, whereas the plants and the insects have taken much longer to evolve. And we are now coming to a point where we are outstripping the resources the planet can really provide. So the effect of the humans is to want more and more from the same area. And that really means we've got to be more and more ruthless in agriculture. We need to grow the food. And being ruthless in agriculture, we obviously damage the land itself, the plants that live in the land, and the insects and animals that live there too. So it is sheer human numbers, the weight of, you num of the human population, what they desire, what they want, what they need to live, that puts great stress on the land and added to that now we have this phenomenon of global warming it may well be cyclical but there is no doubt that the amount of carbon we've been burning and the amount of co2 we've put in the atmosphere is acting like a greenhouse and we are getting warmer global warming is not just the place getting warmer it's the disruption to the weather patterns that is going to be the major effect. We're going to get greater storms in, in the, the hotter climes. They're going to have much more unsettled weather. And here, we are going to get more disruption to our seasons. We won't suddenly get nice, warm Mediterranean summers, but we won't get the cold winters that we need for the natural life cycle of a lot of insects. We may then get a wet spring when those insects, which maybe came out, on a mild winter's day, couldn't find food and perished, there'd be fewer of them and the wetter summer's not so good for them. So as we go through into the autumn, we need cool, crisp weather. That makes everything slow down and shut down, ready for winter hibernation. That's becoming disrupted and one season tends to run into another. And eventually the wildlife will cope with it, but it'll take them a good few thousand years. We've had global warming before, but the pace of global warming now, because of the CO2 in the atmosphere that we have put in, is rapid. And that rapid change is one of the great drivers that's going to cause us problems.